welcome all welcome back to my kitchen so today i'm going to be making pepper shrimp pepper shrimp and that is one of my favorite dish so over here i have all my ingredients it's very simple guys so just check out the seasonings that I'm gonna be using today. Oh, and I forgot my green seed pepper. Let me get it from my fridge. Cause I made some green seasoning the other day. So I'm gonna use some too. Mm -hmm. All right. So this time is shrimp. <clears throat> I already wash it and clean it. And yes, me take off the egg them. And I kind of like burst the, the back of the shell. To get into it to clean it because I know so not to take out that something that them say are the, are the shrimp shit. So you gotta get rid of that. Alright? So let me go get on the apron and come back and show on the omega seeds of the shrimp. Alright, my lovely peeps. So first thing first. I'm in love say that first thing first. <laughs> Anyway, may I use some pink salt for the shrimp here? Yeah. All right. And trust me, this is salt here. Yeah, it's not salt. But now it's your salt. So I am using red pepper. Purchase your And I'm going to put one tablespoon of anatta oil Hash on, the on my shrimp. And this anatta oil is going to give it color and it's also going to kick up the flavor. Alright, see you there. scotch bonnet pepper and I'm using two scotch bonnet pepper so guys if you wanna like it really really hot fiery hot then only can use two peppers if not go ahead and use one pepper and I have some chopped onions and some chopped spring onions Put it in the time Ola, or you can just take it off the how you call them because something at the branch. <laughs> but anyway, guys, you know what I mean. Alright, take it off like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together. You can um, put on a gloves and rub it in if you want to, or just use your hands, or just use hash on the bit. Because I put down my hand in this, but I eat up with it in a hell no. Purchase your trash. 
to finish seasoning it. You just put it aside for like um, 15 to 20 minutes. Make it one marinade. Alright, so I'm going to leave this for 15 to 20 minutes. Make it marinate. Alright, guys, so finish marinating. So. <clears throat> Turn my stove on. Yeah. I'm gonna put my oil in my pot. And again, I'm using a nutter oil. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons. If when you are making this and you feel like you're running out of oil, you can always add more oil to your pot. Alright, so now we Alright, so my oil ready. The oil is ready, guys. Shrimp is in the pot. I am going to cover the pot and leave this. Let this one do its thing for about three minutes, and I'll come back and check it. Alright, guys. So let me go and check them shrimp and also the other one with it. Alright. I'm going to change color. I'm going to split them. So this is how you want it to look guys. And you start to see it, start to have that pinkish kind of whitish looking color. Look at that. Then you know, so it a cook. Alright. So that's a good sign so far. Don't worry about color. As you have other stuff that you're going to add to our pot. Alright. So Right now, I'm going to go ahead and add some more anatta oil to the shrimp. Smell good. Smell so good, guys. You can always add more oil. If you feel like you're running your pot running out, drying out, you can always add more another oil to your pot. So I went in and I add two more tablespoons of another oil to my pot. Cover back my pot for about a minute and I'll come back to it. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna go in with some red food coloring in water. Okay, so if you have the gel food coloring, you use it, and if you have the dry one, you use it. All right, so after I add that in. I'm going to give that a little stir and I'm going to cover this and turn the fire down real, 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 real low. <laughs> like that. Alright. Turn down the stove and low 
and leave it let it catch its color let it suck up all of that coloring all right guys so let's see what's going on with the shrimp them now wow <laughs> all right so this is finished finished so i'm gonna turn off the fire and remove it put it over here and i'm gonna let it sit for 15 minutes <clears throat> Cover it and let it sit for 15 minutes with no heat and then I'm going to plate it and come back and show you what it looked like. Alright? Alright guys, so this is the finishing touch of my pepper shrimp. Guys, the color is so beautiful and like I said, when you are making it, you can always add more and not a oil if you feel like you need more oil don't be afraid to add it and add your color if you feel like you want more coloring in it don't afraid to add your color your red food coloring a little bit in little water and you're good to go look on that guys it smells so good the, the pepper a kick up in it Cash on the bit. yeah man Straight out of Carla's kitchen, pepper shrimp. Yeah, see the guys. Nice. All right. So, for the ingredients for this lovely dish, it is gonna be on my website. So the link to my website is gonna be in the description down below. So you just click on it and it should take you straight there to my website where you can find all the ingredients for all my dishes. And remember, check out my Facebook page on Facebook. Hi, <laughs> Carla's Kitchen. I said on Facebook. Anyway, guys, don't know it go. So thank you so much for all the love and the support. Yeah. Thank you again for stopping by and I'm going to see you guys very soon in my next video. Check out the pepper shrimp guys. You know what some? See that? You can have it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye guys!